Wild fish, healthy waters, to the benefit of all Californians. This was the vision shared by a group of passionate anglers who love the magnificent wild trout and native steelhead waters of California, and who even in the late 1960s feared their demise. 45 years ago, the founders of Cal Trout put their passion to action, setting out to reshape the management and protection of wild fish and their sustaining habitat. Thus began California Trout, from the beginning, a reverence of all things wild, wild fish, wild rivers. With a clarity of conviction, Cal Trout spearheaded, in just its first two years of life, two victories that changed the course of natural resource management in California, the Wild Trout Program and the State Wild and Scenic Rivers Act. Within months of being formed, Cal Trout triggered a historic shift in Department of Fish and Game trout management philosophy laying the framework for statewide wild trout management policy. This program was based on principles established at Hat Creek, an angler's preference for higher quality angling experiences from wild trout that survive and produce under natural conditions. With the new policy, cow trout widely promoted a new angling ethic, catch and release, establishing a sustainability ethic for future generations, a legacy that endures today far and wide beyond the California borders. In the early years of cow trout, dams were still being built, threatening wild rivers. Upstart cow trout was there to advocate for their protection. Cow trout led the establishment of a new political arm, the Committee of Two Million, to push forward the California wild and scenic river system. Central Valley interests threatened multiple North Coast rivers, especially the Eel River, and the call to action was heated. Caltrout and its committee of two million effectively lobbied Sacramento. By the end of 1972, the California State Legislature signed into law the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act, providing protection for generations to come. The consequential Wild Trout Management Program and the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act victories set the foundation for Caltrout's future success. And from this remarkable start, Caltrout has played David to many Goliaths over the years. In the 1980s, Cal Trout set legal precedent with the Mono Lake case, citing the public trust doctrine, a concept dating back to the Magna Carta. It placed deeds for wild fish above the water rights, literally saving Mono Lake and its tributaries. It is considered to be among the most consequential environmental rulings in the 20th century. We push back on Nestle McLeod River spring water for corporate profit. We have won against powerful interests in increased flows in the Eel River, the Wallala, the Pitt, Tuolumne, and the Ventura River, to name a few. And after a couple of decades, a theme emerged. Promote wild fish, protect wild rivers, fight for water and streams. Even with protective laws in place and legal battles fought and won, California is a highly altered landscape. As it was when cow trout began, so it is today. Habitat restoration is ongoing. Caltrout's first restoration effort occurred on Hack Creek in 1971. It continues today as Caltrout champions innovative restoration methods, including a current large scale effort on Hack Creek. Caltrout has and continues to lead restoration efforts on lakes, meadows, and streams throughout California. A track record of science-based restoration efforts spanning 45 years is unequaled and will rise to meet future challenges of population growth and climate change. Wild Trout Management Policy, Wild and Scenic Rivers Act, Catch and Release Ethic, Legal Battles Won, Watersheds Restored, this is Cal Trout's heritage and future the protection of California's wildness in stable strongholds of abundant wild fish. Go to the water. Touch the marvelous creatures that live there. Share the experience with your friends. And experience the heritage of California trout.